Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the ISS. I'm Dan Hewitt. Three new crew members are hard at work getting their space legs under them on board the International Space Station. Reed Wiseman, Max Arayev, and Alexander Gersh just completed their first full week, jumping right in with experiment and repair work. One study they worked on was the Advanced Colloids Experiment, which is looking at particle separation of liquids, gels, and creams. For us on Earth, this could help maximize stability and shelf life for countless household products. And of course, where's the fun in being an astronaut if you can't share all these new experiences with the whole world? NASA's Reed Wiseman has been taking the Twitterverse by storm, showing the world the breathtaking views he wakes up to every day, as well as some of the finer points of adjusting to life in zero-g. Be sure to follow Reed and keep up with his time in space on Twitter at at Astro underscore Reed. We have two social media questions this week. First, Kevin asks, why isn't the ISS round create gravity when it's spinning? Would this design not be better for overall quality on board? Well, not necessarily, as microgravity is actually one of the biggest advantages of the ISS. When you can turn off gravity in your experiment, you can look at things from an entirely new perspective. Studies on microorganisms, fluids, and other materials are just a few areas where we're able to see exciting new behavior that impacts how we do things in space and here on Earth. It also makes moving huge objects for repair work a lot easier on astronaut muscles. Our second question comes from Philip. He asks, could the space station function without any crew? Well, the answer is no and yes. Simply put, we need the people to do the science. They act as the hands for every researcher flying experiments to the ISS, as well as being the on-orbit repair experts in case anything breaks down. The station itself, though, is flown by teams around the world, like the one here in Mission Control Houston. They're responsible for operating the vehicle around the clock, and even flew the ISS for about two years in the very beginning before any crew were on board. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.